Today in my kitchen I am making potato wedges in the oven and I want to show you my top tips on how to make the most fuss-free, faff-free, delicious, crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, healthy baked potato wedgies. It's game changing and then I'm going to show you how to make posh tomato ketchup in the next video. Please subscribe to my channel or give it a thumbs up and a comment. That helps loads with the algorithms. Thank you for being here. Now, let's go find my top tips on making these game-changing potato wedges. Let's go. So there's lots of ways that people want to make potato wedges. There's a few important tips to make sure that you make them in the best way possible every time. So the first thing you want to do is get your potato and um, cut it in half and then you're going to look at it and cut in three wedges out of it so find the center point and slice into it twice to get three wedges out of it just like this so you want them fairly uniformed you probably want about one or two big potatoes per person depending on how hungry you are so once you've chopped your wedges up and then you want to coat them in a generous sprinkle of sea salt maybe black pepper smoked paprika, some ground coriander, any warming spices will do. Just generously coat them and then put a very light smidgen of oil. I've used toasted sesame oil. You can use olive oil, coconut oil. You probably only need like a, a teaspoon per potato, very minimal amount. This just helps so that you can mix them in together and that the warming spices and salt stick to the side of the potatoes absolute minimal oil necessary and then the next part is really important to to get it right you want to get a baking tray and then you want to line it with baking paper or parchment paper this is quite important and then you want to lay them evenly on the tray this is important so that the airflow can get in and so that they can bake all the way through and evenly. If you just chuck them on a tray at all sorts of different angles, you tend to get some bits that cook, some bits that don't cook. So put them nice and evenly with a gap in between each one. This is gonna make the best wedgies, I promise you. And then the next step is we wanna bake them. So the temperature you want is gonna be about 220 degrees Celsius. Depends on your oven, it's one of the highest heats you can get on your oven and depending on how big the potatoes are I, I'm guessing it's going to take about 40 minutes to crisp them on the outside to cook them all the way through so they're basically cooking on the inside like baked potatoes would whilst they're crisping on the outside and then when you're done take them out and they're ready to enjoy with your posh tomato ketchup let's have a taste mmm mmm they're perfect they're perfect. You're going to love these. Let me know if you try them and how you get on. Remember to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Okay, bye for now.